He's back. I told ye, we don't have any marshmallows. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. Are you Captain Dread? Yeah, man, I'm Captain Dread. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. Navy dreads. Thanks, man. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man, but my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck charm. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Big Whoop, Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook, Young Lindy, the cabin boy, Mr. Rogers, the first mate, and Captain Marley. They buried their treasure along with plenty of booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rap Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leading at the time. Hello. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Hey, I did it! Largo Legrand left scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. Where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without my monocle. Where is that thing? I swear I put it right here. I hope I didn't lose it. I'll never be able to afford a new one. 
How am I supposed to work? Dang! I'm such a dope! Can't I do anything right? Oh, shoot! I bet my mom would help me find it, if she were alive. For crying out loud! I hope it didn't roll onto the floor! Wake up! What is it? Remember me? I'm Guybrush. Do we know you? I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The sacking lunch. It was quite lucrative. What does this have to do with performing? I'm getting to that. The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? I'm looking for that too. Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so he just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. That you're a pack of loonies? He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Ah, uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh, hmm. Groundophobia? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like orcaphobia. Fear of strange vegetables? Say what you will, we're not coming down. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. 
When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah, I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, well, no, never mind. Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. I made Largo leave this island. You made cards out of sand. Do I care? I guess I'll be going now. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble.
Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. I'd give you a piece of eight, but, uh, <laughs> I'm fresh out. Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites. I love cheese squigglies. That doesn't seem to work. Thing this is a cold soup. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo Legrand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Grog, please. I don't need to see some ID for that. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? Oh, gosh. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? 
Ugh, I think I will. Oh my God! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great, job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. The barkeep would be mad if I left work early. The barkeep would be mad if I left work early. Yuck, the rat's been swimming in it. I'm rich! I'm rich! Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island, so I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies Lechuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threep Wood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threep Wood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big Whoop. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? 
I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around, Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an overbloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy to read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. there. Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? I said hello there. My name's Threepwood. Oh, why, hello there, Threepwood. You in town for Mardi Gras? Is this the right time of year for Mardi Gras? Son, it's always Mardi Gras on Booty Island. I used to be the governor of this island, but I never had any time to come down here and enjoy the party, so I quit. And now I watch out for the mail boat, which reminds me, I have to get back to work. Hello again. Eh? What was that? I just stopped by to say hello again. Oh, yes. Well, are you enjoying Mardi Gras? Hey, it's a party, I'm there. Well, if it's a party you're looking for, I hear Governor Marley is having some super shindig up at her mansion. Marley? Huh, that's funny. I used to date a Governor Marley. Oh, sure. And I'll bet you helped her beat LeChuck, too. I beat him all by myself. Hey, hey, kid, it's okay. Mardi Gras is the time for fantasy. Now just run along and enjoy yourself. Nice shop you got here. Thanks! I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume! I have to go now. I have to go now. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? I can't afford that much. Too bad. Do you take credit? Yeah, like you have one. But I do accept personal checks or trade-ins. What kind of trade-ins do you accept? I'll take most old swords, some used parrots, almost anything valuable made of bronze, and a few old ship parts. Would you give me the map piece for any of those things? 
No, but there's one thing I might trade for the map piece. What would you trade for the map piece? There was a certain ship that sunk, and I'd really like the figurehead. I'd give you the map if you got the figurehead for me. Can you tell me about the ship with the figurehead? The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why, but the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. Please tell me about the ship with the figurehead again. The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why. But the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. I have to go now. Sunken Galleons. Three hour tours. Hi, my name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. Not many people want to charter a glass bottom boat around here. Pretty soon I'm off to Fat Island to try my luck there. But let's talk turkey first. My fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. I don't have that much. I guess you'd better find some more then, huh? Three hour tours. Check it out. I'm searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah? When I was the first mate on the Limping Limpet, we went in search of Big Whoop. We'd heard it was buried under a place called Blinky Island. Never found the island or the treasure. The captain eventually died of boredom while we were crossing the Sea of Beige Flotsam. I hope your luck is better. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. See the world. Check it out. Okay, now who's going to be next? It's a great day for spitting. Just look at this juicy crowd. Step up to the line and test your swill. See the world. Three hour tours. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. I see you have an eye for quality. That'll be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. Sounds like the mail boat. I'd better fire the cannon. That ought to do it. Of course, I don't see no mail boat. Well, where's the mail boat? Thought I heard it. I see. Sightseeing. Valuable prizes. Even a child can do it. Come on, it's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. Just put your two lips together and blow. Are you pirates or not? Two, four, six, eight. Come on, let's expectorate. Everybody already has the necessary equipment. 
Turn a disgusting habit into a prestige-winning skill! Don't let this grass wither up and die! What was that? Did I hear somebody swallow? What a waste! Thousands will spit, hundreds will win! No volunteers! If Blackbeard were here, he'd shoot you all right now! Come on, don't be shy, let it fly! I know you want to volunteer! False alarm! As I was saying, you think spitting is gross? I'll tell you what's gross, swallowing that stuff is gross! Prove to me that you guys are at least as fun as a pack of llamas! A grip. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. I don't have an invitation. Then you can't go past me. Uh, nice costume. Almost scared me to death. Thanks. Where's your costume for the governor's party? You mentioned a party before? Did you bring a costume and invitation? This is my costume. Nobody would willingly wear such a dopey costume. You mentioned a party before? Did you bring a costume and invitation? I don't have an invitation. Then you can't go past me. Mm, gotta go. Keep up the good work. Is there something I can help you with? You mentioned a party before? Did you bring a costume and invitation? I didn't want to go anyway. Suit yourself! Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where... Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around. Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island. A fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go.
hello there. Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? I said hello there. My name's Threepwood. Oh, why, hello there, Threepwood. You in town for Mardi Gras? Hey, if it's a party, I'm there. Well, if it's a party you're looking for, I hear Governor Marley is having some super shindig up at her mansion. Marley? Huh, that's funny. I used to date a Governor Marley. Oh, sure. And I'll bet you helped her beat LeChuck, too. No, I beat him all by myself. Hey, hey, kid, it's okay. Mardi Gras is the time for fantasy. Now just run along and enjoy yourself. I'd like to buy this map piece. That's six million pieces of eight. Do you want it? I can't afford that much. Too bad. Nice shop you got here. Thanks. I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume! Do you take credit? Yeah, like you have one. But I do accept personal checks or trade-ins. What kind of trade-ins do you accept? I'll take most old swords, some used parrots, almost anything valuable made of bronze, and a few old ship parts. Would you give me the map piece for any of those things? No, but there's one thing I might trade for the map piece. What would you trade for the map piece? There was a certain ship that sunk and I'd really like the figurehead. I'd give you the map if you got the figurehead for me. Can you tell me about the ship with the figurehead? The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why. But the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. Please tell me about the ship with the figurehead again. The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why. But the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. I have to go now. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. Great! That'll be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. Alrighty! That'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy these pirate hats. And I'd like to sell you one of them. They are 30 pieces of eight each. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. Nah, I have a thing about lice.
That sounds like the mail boat. I'd better fire the cannon. That ought to do it. Of course, I don't see no mail boat. Well, where's the mail boat? Thought I heard it. I see. Cruises. Sightseeing. Hi, my name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. Not many people want to charter a glass-bottom boat around here. Pretty soon I'm off to Fat Island to try my luck there. But let's talk turkey first. My fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. I don't have that much. I guess you'd better find some more then, huh? Cruises! I'm searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah? When I was the first mate on the Limping Limpet, we went in search of Big Whoop. We'd heard it was buried under a place called Blinky Island. Never found the island or the treasure. The captain eventually died of boredom while we were crossing the Sea of Beige Flotsam. Hope your luck is better. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Glass bottom boat. Sightseeing. Okay, now who's gonna be next? It's a great day for spitting. Just look at this juicy crowd. Step up to the line and test your swill. False alarm. As I was saying, valuable prizes. Grip. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. Uh, nice costume. Almost scared me to death. Thanks. Where's your costume for the governor's party? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. What are you guarding here? I'm guarding Governor Marley's mansion. Elaine Marley? From Melee Island? Yep, the same heroic Elaine Marley who killed the ghost pirate LeChuck. But I killed LeChuck. Why would Governor Marley lie?
Jealousy. In your dreams. Ah, nice costume. Almost scared me to death. Thanks. Where's your costume for the governor's party? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. This is my costume. Nobody would willingly wear such a dopey costume. You mentioned a party before? Do you bring a costume and invitation? I don't have an invitation. Then you can't go past me. Mm, gotta go. Keep up the good work. Where do you want to go? Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? I must have left it in my other pants. That's the second lamest excuse I've ever heard. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Nice try, Guybrush. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. Well, am I under arrest? If you want to put it that way, sir, yes. Oh, all right. Let's go. Coming. Well, Mr. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. I can't say as I care much for your method of invitation. I simply wanted to ensure that you didn't slip away before we had a chance to meet. There's something I'd like to discuss. 
Such as why there's a ten-foot guard blocking the door? Such as your future, Mr. Threepwood, and that of the ghost pirate LeChuck. I can't say as I care much for your method of invitation. I simply wanted to ensure that you didn't slip away before we had a chance to meet. There's something I'd like to discuss. Such as how much it must cost to keep you in food? Be careful upon whose toes you tread, Mr. Threepwood. At least I can see your toes. Why, you? Excuse me. Let's get down to why you're here, shall we? I intend to sell you to the ghost pirate LeChuck. <laughs> LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no, LeChuck's back! I beg your pardon, did you say something? I took care of LeChuck once, I can do it again! You'll get your chance. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. Whatever bounty LeChuck's offering, I'll double it! <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Threepwood. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, well, I'll be back to relieve you at 11. A fine example of dieting gone horribly wrong. A fine example of dieting gone horribly wrong. Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. Here, doggy doggy. Here, boy. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Hey, that <laughs> tickles! Mr. Willie Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. Mr. Willie Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. There's a banana in here? and an organ.
Wanted, Guybrush Threepwood. Hey, that's me! For the murder of G.P. LeChuck. Also for the use of witchcraft on the person of Largo Legrand. The thievery of clothing and medically prescribed hair supplements for such witchcraft. Grave robbing, trespassing, larceny without a permit, exceeding allowable FDA limit for rodent parts in Vichyssois, unauthorized exiting from a penal institution, impersonating a federal mail boat, and releasing a dangerous reptile in a populated area. Also wanted for questioning regarding the disappearance of prescription eyewear. Reward offered for information leading to the suspect's apprehension. Threepwood is to be considered armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous? Right on!